Once upon a time, in the quiet village of Omidali, lived two friends, Kaima and Ijoma. Kaima was known for her kindness and captivating smile that could light up the village, and she shared a humble home with her brother and their wise but blind father. Her friend Ijoma, however, harbored envy so deep it darkened her spirit. Ijoma secretly desired everything Kaima had, especially Kaima's betrothed Ekene. In three days, Kaima and Ekene were set to marry, and while Kaima was overjoyed, Ijoma's heart seated with jealousy. Unable to contain her bitterness, Ijoma visited a local witch doctor, demanding a charm to harm Kaima so she could claim Ekene for herself. The healer warned, Kaima's soul is pure, the spirit will protect her. But Ijoma's envy was relentless. Desperate, she remembered the early tales of Darkwood Forest, where her spirits were rumored to grant sisters favors. Ijoma ventured deep into the forest, where mystical beings questioned her intentions. In exchange of their aid, Ijoma pledged her own soul. The spirit instructed her in a ritual that, once completed, would grant her every blessing that Kaima would have received. Elated, Ijoma returned home and performed the spell as instructed. The day of Kaima's wedding dawned bright and clear. Ijoma, who had spent the night at Kaima's home, was the first to wake, quietly helping prepare for the celebration. Ekene arrived early with his family to complete the bride fly ceremony, but suddenly, Kaima's brother rushed out in distress. He had tried to wake up Kaima, but she couldn't stand up. Her legs were lifeless. Confusion and fear gripped the villagers and news spread of Kaima's mysterious affliction, which they feared was a cause. According to the tradition, if a bride was cursed, the marriage would be nullified. Days passed and Kaima's family tried every healer, but no cure could restore her legs. Her broken, the Kenes family advised him to keep his distance, but Ekene sent for healers in secret, hoping to help Kaima. Meanwhile, Ijoma wore a false mask of sympathy, hiding her satisfaction over her friend's suffering. Under her spell, Ekene, dazed and helpless, soon agreed to marry Ijoma. Chattered by betrayal, Kaima Gumon, while her blind father, unable to bear her suffering, embarked on a journey with his friend Inamdi to consult Asari, the spirit of the river. As they approach the shrine, Asari reveals that a dark force has claimed Kaima's spirit and that only a great sacrifice could break it hold. Kaima's father, without hesitation, offered his life to free his daughter. Returning home, Kaima's father blessed his children and prepared his final meal. That night, Kaima was awakened by her brother's shout and instinctively ran to her father's room, only to find him lifeless. It was then she realized in her grief that legs were healed. Overcome with sorrow and relief, Kaima and her brother mourned together. As they processed their village sacrifice, a villager rushed in shouting, Come to the village square! There is a confession. Before the villagers, Ijoma confessed to her, freshly admitting her use of dark magic to harm Kaima and enchant Ekele. The elders swiftly excited her, bowing dead if she returns. Fed from the cause, Ekele returned to his senses, seeking Kaima's forgiveness. They were soon married in a quiet, joyful ceremony, and their life blossomed in harmony.